Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to continue with our pre-play using Fran Tarkin football. The game that got me hook on, hooked on sports sims when I was a kid. This game is, goes back to 1968, the year before I was born. Uh, we found it in my uncle's closet many moons later, 10 years later. My brother and I, and we started playing the living with Jesus out of this game. I created the playoff teams for 2018. Uh, using reverse engineering the Fran Tarkin football stat engine along with base, uh, footballreference.com. And I tweaked it a bit. We played our first uh, pre-play yesterday, and we're going to do and that was between the Colts and the Texans. Went down to the wire, and now we're going to play the Seahawks versus the Cowboys and see how the sim engine goes and see how close the results will have for this Saturday. Also, we've sped up the game a bit, so the scoring will be down a bit, uh, depending on, you know, um, we sped up the play clock, so the game moves quicker. So without any further ado, let's get to the ball game. Hello! Fanatic of Films is in the chat. Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful entertainment channel. That's Fanatics of Film. So let's get to the spreadsheet here. The Seahawks won the toss. They elected to kick. So they'll get the ball. They deferred, so they'll get the ball in the second half. So back deep on the kick return for the Cowboys is Darius Jackson kicking off for the Seahawks. Strange for me to say this name, Sebastian Janikowski. I just he kicked all those years with the Raiders, so Janikowski will kick off. And here's the kickoff, and that's a 25, and 25 is a 59-yard kick. To the 6-yard line of the Cowboys, and here comes Darius Jackson on the return. And that's not a good one. That's a 1-3. And on a 1-3, that's only a 15-yard return. It'll go out to the 21-yard line. So first and 10 for the Cowboys on their 21. Hope everyone's doing well on this Thursday. Two ticks off the clock for the kickoff. Also joining us in the chat, John St. Batiste. He said, just popping in for a second to see how you're doing. Well, I'm doing A-OK. -okay. How you doing, Mr. Batiste? Check out that wonderful music. All things music on John St. Batiste. Very knowledgeable. One of the most pleasant people you'll meet on YouTube. Also, he's with Cylon Johns and many other programs. John St. Batiste. Wonderful, wonderful. And let me steal his phrase. Remember, he is excellent, and to be t and everyone be excellent. Okay, so here we go. First down for the Cowboys on their 21. The players we will be using, who I believe will be the ones in the football game, at quarterback, Dak Prescott. The running backs are Ezekiel Elliott and Rod Smith. Elliott will get the majority of the carries there. He can rush 21 times before his day is through. And the wideouts and tight ends are Cole Beasley, Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, Blake Jarwin, and Alan Hearns. They're all allotted so many catches and rushing attempts. Once they do that, they can no longer be used. That's the way we're playing it. So on first down, we're going to go ground and pound. We're going to go a inside run to Ezekiel Elliott. The Cowboys and Seattle both have seven rated defense. This inside run is an eight rated play. And if you've never seen the way I do this, is you roll the two red sided die. You read the lowest die first. And then the black die, you roll all three. If it's an X, it's a base defense, which is a standard average defense. And a D, they have the exact play call. And then if it is blank, we then roll the yellow die, and it will correspond to the defensive cards on the board. So a 1 would be a base defense, a 3 would be a base defense, and an X would be a base defense. Everything else will correspond, and a D will be the exact play call, meaning they're keying the right call 
All right, so here we go. Handoff to Ezekiel Elliott. And that's a good one right off the bat. Oh, we didn't roll this one, though. And that's a D, so they're keying it. But that's a 45, and against a 7 defense, it's an 8 play call. And now go up to a 46, and it's 5 yards. So a good, tough run. For Ezekiel Elliott, 5 yards will be 2nd and 4. So Elliott gets his first carry. He's good for 21. And now he's 20 more carries left in him. So that's 5 yards, Ezekiel Elliott. It's 20 more in him, and it will be second and five. Three ticks off the clock. Joining us in the chat, Dave Gardner. How you doing, my friend? And Bobby Cantalano. Hope all is well. Remember to check out Dave Gardner on HockeyTournaments.com. Good friend of Ron Juckett and Retro Sports Network. That's HockeyTournaments.com. All right, so it's second down, and they're going to continue with the ground and pound. Another Hand off to Ezekiel Elliott, and that's a 46, and again they have it, Keith, so no need to roll the yellow die. A 46, Elliott really churning the ball here. 46 goes up to 55, 6 yards on first down. So the first and 10 from the Dallas, 32. So Elliott has two carries, 11 yards. And he's good for 19 more carries. And three more ticks come off the old clock here. So first and ten once again. And they're going to go pitch out Ezekiel Elliott. And this is a seven def That's a number five on the chart. It's an outside run. So it's a seven offensive play against a seven defense. No modifier in the dice roll. And that's a 25. It stays a 25. And X is a base defense. And that will be the B column. And it's a 25. And he'll only pick up one yard on that carry as the Seahawks defense able to string it out. And he's good for 18 more carries. And that will be second and nine. So Ezekiel Elliott carries the ball the first three times on the Cowboys' possession. So second and nine. And I forget to click over here. And now we're going to go with a short pass to the left end on second and nine. And that's Amari Cooper. He is good for seven receptions in the game. This is an eight-rated play call. So it will go up one. Prescott back to pass, looking for Amari Cooper, and that's a 46. Black die is blank. We roll for coverage. That is a three. They're in a base defense. 46 will pop up to a 55B, 10 yards, and a first down. Dak Prescott completes his first pass to Amari Cooper for 10. And Cooper has six more receptions in him. Nine, ten. So it's first and ten on the Dallas 44 as they approach midfield. Cowboys, a very nice opening drive so far. So first and ten on the 44. And the Cowboys will now go with... A medium pass to Amari Cooper. Let's see if they can catch the Seahawks off guard. Prescott back to pass again. Looking for Cooper. And this time it's a 1-6. We'll go to a 2-2. Two -two, and that's a 2. And they were playing the run. But a bad pass by Dak Prescott. And that is incomplete. It'll be 2nd and 10. So on an incomplete, 2 ticks come off the clock as the post to a completed pass or a run. We have just under 11 minutes to go in the first quarter. Scoreless Dallas's first drive here. So second and 10. And they're going to go... The Cowboys are going to go... Pitch out. Ezekiel Elliott. It's a 7 against a 7. 
And that's a leaner for the two-wheel re-roll. That, that's a 66! He breaks the tackle. Boy, he got lucky with the leaner. But they were keying it. So it's a pitch out 66. A, uh, B, excuse me, or G. So it's a second column. 12 yards for Ezekiel Elliott. Ooh, the leaner comes in handy. Sometimes the breaks, you got to catch them. So that's 12 yards and a first down. And they cross into Seattle territory on the Seahawks, 44. So 12 yards for Ezekiel Elliott. He is chewing up this Seahawk defense. Leaner came in handy. And now, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. And he is good for 17 more carries. He's taking the brunt. Of the offensive play calling here. So first and 10 on the Seattle 44. Medium pass to the flanker Cole Beasley on first and 10. And again, this is a 7 play call against a 7 defense. No modification in the dice roll. And that's a 24. The black die is blank. We roll for coverage. And that is a 4. That is a blitz. That is a blitz. 24 stays at 24, and on the blitz, they put pressure on Dak Prescott, and he throws the ball a little sooner than he wants, incomplete. So it'll be second and 10. Prescott now one for, th uh, yeah, one for three. And on the incompletion, we have 10 minutes to play in the first quarter. So second and 10 from the 44. Of Seattle. They're going to look medium pass to Amari Cooper. Back to pass goes Prescott. They're keying Cooper. That's a 35. It'll go to a 36. On the medium pass, that's a 16 and an 8. And a 36 is incomplete. Oh, just let him a little too far. So it'll be third and 10. The Seattle defense stiffening up here a bit. Third and 10 from the Seattle 44. And Prescott is going to look for flanker Michael Gallup. He's able to have two receptions, as you can see. And it's third and 10. They're going to go short. Actually, going to go medium pass. Medium pass to Gallup. And again, it's an 8 offensive play against a 7 defense. Modification, the dice roll will go up 1. Here's the pass. Oh, there goes the red die. We know how the red die likes to jump the shark. And that's a 3. And that's a 6. So that's a 36. Black die is blank. And that is a 9. A 9 is they're looking for Ezekiel Elliott out of the backfield. Make sure here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, they're keying the tight end, excuse me. So that's a wrong play call. And a 36 on a medium pass to the flanker. 36 goes to 44. H. And that is a completion for 21 yards. So that's 10. 20. 21 down. To the Seattle, 23. What a conversion there for the Cowboys. 21-yard pitch and catch from Prescott to Gallup as he did his best imitation of the Galloping Ghost. Plus 21, a big third down conversion there. And now he's good for one more reception. Now let's take some ticks off the clock. Under nine minutes to play in the first quarter. First and ten from the Seattle. 23. The Cowboys really moving this ball quite well. And now they're going to go handoff. Actually pitch out. Outside run to Rod Smith. And that is a six offensive play call against a seven defense. So the dice roll modification will go down one. He's good for two carries. Let's see if he can surprise him with a pitch out. And that's a 24. It'll go down to a 23. The black die is blank. We roll for coverage. That is a 9. They were looking pass again to the tight end. They're playing pass. So an 
H. And a 24 goes down to a 23. That's a one-yard gain on the pitch out to Rod Smith. That's a plus one. And he only has one more carry in him, but we like to use that up early. So it'll be second and nine from the 22. Eight minutes to play in the first quarter. Second and nine from the 22. And they're going to go handoff to Ezekiel Elliott. This is an eight offensive play against a seven defense. The dice modification goes up one. It's a handoff one six. So we'll go to a two two. And that's not going to help much. And again, they're keying the pass. So two two H on a handoff to the halfback. Two two H is a one yard gain. Front seven for Seattle. Stiffening up as they get closer to the end zone, the Cowboys. So last two carries only net two yards, and it will be third and eight. Good job by the Seattle front seven, even though they look like they're in some sort of pass zone defense. Just under seven minutes of play in the first quarter. Opening drive for the Cowboys, third and eight. They've converted on two third downs. So it's third and eight, and they're going to go short. They're going to go short. They're going to look short to Amari Cooper, third and eight. And that's a 1-3. Black dies a D. They're keying it. So a 1-3 goes up to a 1-4. Incomplete good coverage by the Seahawks. And it's now fourth and eight from the 22. Or from the 21, excuse me. Fourth and eight, the field goal kicker for the Cowboys is Brett Mahar. And 22, so you add 17. That's a 39-yard field goal attempt. And he was 75%. He was 6 of 8 from that distance. So now on field goals, this is where we've modded the game since we last played for these playoffs. We roll two ten, uh, 0 through 9 dies, 10-sided dies. And you read the green die first, then the red die. And if it's a double 0, the field goal is blocked. If it's 75, if it's 1 through 75, it's good. So Mahar is going to line up to try to put the Cowboys ahead here. The snap, the place, and the kick. And that is a 30. He boots it through. And it's 3-0 Cowboys. They score on their opening drive. Six minutes to play in the first quarter. And that was a 39-yard field goal by Brett Mahar. Cowboys take the lead 3-0. So let's write that down on the scoring in the first quarter at the six-minute mark. 39 yard field goal. Mahar. Mayher. Mayher. Mahar, that's what we're going to call. Him. I don't know. M A H E R. Mahar. Mayher. I like Mahar. We're going to stick with Mahar. So it's 3 0 Cowboys with six minutes to play in the first quarter. An opening drive. Produces fruit, not a big bushel of fruit, more like a small basket, but it's three points, and the Cowboys will take it. So Mahar will kick off. Now back deep for the Seattle Seahawks is Tyler Lockett. And they'll kick off from the 35. Let's quickly go to the chat. As John St. Petit says, all right, rack time. Thanks for hanging out, Al. Thank you for hanging out. And Ron from Retro Sports Network has joined us. Hope all is well. As he says, is it 31-3 to yet? No, not yet, Ron. Check out Retro Sports Network. Wonderful retro replay channel. And let's have a sip of coffee. Cowboys up 3-0. Mahar will kick off. We rolled the two... 
red die and just read off the chart. And that is a 26, so that will be on the kickoff a penalty. Joy. Let's roll for the penalty, and that's a 26. And a 26 is going to be on the Cowboys. Five yards backs them up to the 30. And so they were somehow offsides on the kickoff. So that's two ticks off the clock. And now he'll kick off from the 30. And again, here's the kickoff to Tyler Lockett of the Seahawks. That's a 44. A 44 on the kickoff is 63 yards. So it'll be fielded at the 7 by Tyler Lockett. Here's the return, and that's a 34 on the return, and a 34 is a 28-yard return. So 3 to the 10, and we'll make it a 25 now. 10, 20, out to the 35. So first and 10 for Seattle, and here comes Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks offense for the first time. Can they match or do better than what the Cowboys did? Remember, the Cowboys, on their opening drive, 39-yard field goal by Mahar. So here comes Seattle. The Seahawks will have Russell Wilson at quarterback. The running backs will be... Uh, Carson and Davis. Carson good for 17 carries. Davis good for 7. Carson good for 1 reception. Davis for 2. Rashad Penny good for 4 carries. Russell Wilson, the, he's another running back. Russell Wilson, the quarterback, good for 4 carries. And Tyler Lockett, if we want to use it, good for a reverse. Um, he's also the flanker, and he's good for 6 receptions. Baldwin, good for 3. The tight end, Nick Vanett. Uh, and then Moore, Brown, Dixon and Madden, all good for one reception. Dallas, remember, has a seven defense. So on the first play, Russell Wilson will hand the ball off to Chris Carson. That is an eight. That's an inside run. That's an eight play call against a seven defense. Here's the handoff to Carson, and that is a... 1-3. The Cowboys are up to the task with their front seven. They're keying that. A 1-3. What will it be? It will be. Goes to a 1-4. And that's minus a yard. So they swarm over, Carson. Like bees on honey. Minus one on Carson's first carry. And now he is good for 16 more carries. So it will be second and 11. 3 nothing Cowboys. Just over four minutes to go in the first quarter. So second and 11. And they're going to go flare pass to the other running back, Mike Davis. Flare, that's an eight against the seven defense. And that's a 35, and they're keying the short pass. 35 will go to 36 on the flare. That's a 12 uh, play call. And a 36, and even though they're keying it, that's a five-yard pickup. So it'll be third and four. Third and six, excuse me. Third and six. So plus five on the reception from Davis out of the backfield on the flare. And he's good for one more reception. So Russell Wilson completes his first pass to the back, Mike Davis. But it brings up third and four. And if they don't pick up a first down, they shall say no more on this offensive drive. They will have to punt. So third and four for Russell Wilson. And Wilson on third and four is going to call his own number. He's going to scramble. And that is an eight. That's a ten offensive play call. An eight against a seven defense. And oh boy, he didn't get the lucky roll there. One six goes to two two. The black dies blink. We roll for coverage. And that's a three. And that's a blitz. Oh, boy, that's a 2-2 two, two and a blitz, but he gets past the blitzers, and he picks up three yards. Had we got a decent roll, he would have had a first down. So that is plus three for Wilson on a run. A better roll would have easily netted the first down as he got away from the blitz, but not from the spying linebacker. He does pick up three, though. He has three more carries in him. 
one, two, three. And the Seahawks will have to punt. Their drive comes to an end. Here comes the punter for Seattle. It is Michael Dixon. And that's a 34 on the punt. A 34 is a 44-yard punt. And we'll just back it up two and make it 46. So it just makes the counting easier. Fielded at the 14, and here, so that was a 46, 44-yard punt, excuse me. And on the return for the Cowboys will be Darius Jackson, and here he comes, and that's a 16. And he gets no yards as he goes east to west. So the Cowboys offense up 3-0 late in the first quarter will take over possession. On their 14, first and 10. So Darius Jackson on the punt return, no yards. Two minutes of play in the first quarter, 3 nothing Cowboys. You're looking to add to that total. They're going to go pitch out to Ezekiel Elliott. Seven play call against a seven defense. That is the three. I'm um, sorry, the 5 on the offensive play chart. And it is a 1-2, and it'll stay a 1-2. Black dies blank. We roll for coverage. That's a 7. And they're keying the run. So it's a pitch out. And a 1-2 stays a 1-2. That's minus 6. Ouch. So the linebacker comes up big, the outside linebacker, blowing up that play. Had he got by him, he had a lot of running room. So Ezekiel Elliott loses six. So it'll be second and 16 from the eight. Three ticks off the clock as we're approaching the end of the first quarter, second and 16. Seattle's defense comes right back playing strong. Medium pass. Dak Prescott's going to look for Amari Cooper. And it's going to be a medium pass, so that will be a 16 play call. And that's an 8 against a 7 defense. Dice roll goes up 1. And that's double leaners, so we're going to roll that. And that's still a 45, so a 45 goes to a 46. The black die is blank. We roll for coverage. That's a 2, and they were playing run. Oh, man, this is, oh, boy, this could be a big, big play here. So a 45 goes to a 46A, and a 46A, 22 yards, and a first down. Amari Cooper pops up and gives the first down signal. So that's 16 yards here, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, out to the 30. So first and 10 from the 30, Amari Cooper comes up with another big catch. It's plus 22. Prescott to Amari Cooper. As the first quarter coming to an end, there'll be one more play left in the first quarter. And it's first and 10 from the 30 for the Cowboys. That was a huge play. And on first and 10, they're going to go pitch out. Rod Smith, this will be his last carry of the game. He wants a big roll. Oh, yeah. We're going to call that a, yeah, that's a leaner. He still gets it, though. 45, they were keying the outside run. So it's going to go down one, as that's a 6, but still a 44 against the right play call. So a 44 against the right play call is a 5-yard pickup, and that's the end of the first quarter. So Rod Smith gets his two carries for the game, and he picks up 6 yards on those two carries.
we go to the second second quarter, three nothing Cowboys. And now we shall erase and hopefully not knock over the board. So second quarter, three nothing Cowboys. The only scoring in the first quarter on the initial Cowboy drive, they marched downfield and got a 39-yard field goal from Brett Mahar. So after 15 minutes of football, 3-0 Cowboys. We start the second 15 minutes of football. First and 10 on the Cowboy 30. After a 22-yard pitch and catch from Prescott to Amari Cooper. And Cooper is good for five more receptions. So first and ten. And they will go hand uh they're gonna go handoff. Ezekiel Elliott. This is an eight, and that is a two play call. Now, dice roll will go up one, and that's a 35. We'll go to 36. Black dice blank. They roll for coverage. That is an eight, and they're keying him. So good play call on the defense there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, they have, they're keying Ezekiel Elliott on the handoff, and that goes 35, 36. Three-yard gain. Good tough run on the inside. Be second. Uh, I'm sorry, be third and two. So third and two from the 38 of the Cowboys, plus three for Ezekiel Elliott. And he still has 16 carries in him. So third and two. As the clock starts running here in the second quarter, three nothing Cowboys, third and two. What do you do? Well, you hand it off to Ezekiel Elliott again. Again, that's an eight offensive play call against a seven defense. It will go up one dice roll, and that's a 24. They're keying him again as the black dies D, so it's an automatic correct call. A 24 goes to a 25, and 25. They straighten him up at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Wow. Had it been anything other than an A or a G, well, it was a D, so it's the right play call. He would have had the first. So no yards. The Seattle front seven up to the task. And Ezekiel Elliott good for 15 more carries. So it is fourth and two. And Dallas will punt the ball. 3 nothing Dallas. Good job by the Seattle defense. And here comes the punter, Chris Jones, for his first punt of the ball game. And that's, of course, now we get the high roll as usual. 56 on the punt. That's a boomer. That's 53 yards. We'll push it up to and make it 51 yards. And so that's going to be to the 10, I believe. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 to the 9 because it's 51. And so that was a good boot. Fifty-three yards on the punt. On the return for the Seahawks will be Lockett. And he's not waving for the fair catch. He's gonna bring it upfield. And one five. And excellent punt coverage. No gain. So he's brought down. Great punt coverage at the nine yard line. As he tried to zig and zag and he got nothing. As they sit in Caddyshack, Spalding, you'll get nothing, and you'll like it. So Seattle gets their second possession down 3-0, 13 minutes of play in the half. And here comes Russell Wilson and the Seattle offense. They punted last time. And Russell Wilson is going to go medium pass. Actually, he's going to go up top. He's going to go deep to David Moore. Moore is good for one reception. And his yards per catch over the average, much over the average. So we rated that a 9, though it's only he only has one reception in him. So we're going to take advantage of this, and we're going to go uh, to play 20, which is a fly pattern to the left end. And this is... David Moore, so Russell Wilson looking deep to David Moore, and that is a crappy roll of a 1-3. It will go up 2, 
And the ba the black die is blank. We roll for coverage. That is a five. They were playing pass. And a one, two. Oh boy, lucky it goes up two. Because a one, two would, uh, I'm sorry, one, three. Lucky it goes up two. It would have been a pick. But it goes incomplete as it goes one, four, one, five. And that is incomplete. Good coverage there by the Cowboys. Seattle catches a break as they're going for it all, as I like to say, like Bogey and Bacall. So it will be second and ten from the nine. Under 13 minutes of play in the half, three nothing Dallas. So second and nine. Russell Wilson will again look for Davy Moore. David Moore. Davy Moore was a boxer. He's passed away. Actually, there's two boxers named Davy Moore. And so it's second and ten. Medium pass this time to Moore. Again, Russell Wilson back in the pocket. He throws. And that's a good one. It's going to go 5-6-6-6. Six, six, six. Boy, we wish we had it that before. And they ha they're keying the pass again. And he is a left end. So that's a 16 play call. And they have the right play call. But it's caught for 23 yards in between two defenders. So what a throw by Russell Wilson. That's 10. That's 20. 2. Uh, 1, 2, 3. Out to the 32-yard line. First down. 23 yards. To Moore, and he's done. That's his one reception. But it was a good one. Didn't want to waste it on a little short pass. So he's done. Russell Wilson, plus 23. So first and 10 from the 32. As that was good coverage by the Cowboys, but an, a good throw and an excellent catch by Moore. So you cannot use Moore anymore. Ba -boom -boom. And now we're going to go to... We're going to look for Amari Cooper. I'm sorry. Uh, Doug Baldwin. And we still have Lockett we can use. But let's go Doug Baldwin. Actually, let's go for the kill. We're going to go deep to Tyler Lockett. All three of his pass patterns are 10. So this is a... 21 play call for 10 against a 7 defense. This goes up 3. So Russell Wilson going to stick to the air and throw the ball up just like he don't care. But he's hoping for a touchdown here. He throws it up. That is a leaner. It's not going to be good anyway. 1-5 and it will go up 3. And it's a base coverage. It's going to be incomplete. I don't even have to look. I know. So it will be 2nd and 10. He went for it all. Led him a little too far. Coverage was adequate, but if he had a better throw, might have connected up with him. Just under 11 minutes of play, second and 10. In the second quarter, 3 nothing Cowboys, second and 10. And this time he will go medium pass to Tyler Lockett. And that is a 36. It's going to go up, and they're keying the pass and Lockett. So that is a... Medium pass, and that's a 17. So that's a flanker. So a 36, and it's going to go up 3 because it's a 10 play call offensively. So 36, 44, 45, 46, and that's caught for 18 yards and a first down. Now to midfield goes the Seattle Seahawks. And that's Tyler Lockett. That's his first reception. He's good for five more, and that was plus 18. Nice toss by Russell Wilson. He has five more receptions in him. So plus 18 for Russell Wilson. They're at midfield now, trailing 3 nothing, under 11 minutes of play in the half. And now they're going to go medium pass to Doug Baldwin. This is an 8. 
offensive play call. Against a 7 defense, dice roll will go up 1. They look for Baldwin, and that's a 56 goes to 66 against a base defense. Oh, this is going to be a big, big play. 16 against the base defense. And it goes six from 56 to 66, 21 yards. Russell Wilson torching this Cowboy defensive backfield. That's 10. Twenty, twenty-one. Out to the Cowboy twenty-eight. As he hits Doug Baldwin, and Baldwin is good for three receptions, and now he has two left in him. Twenty eight, right? Twenty one, what did I say? I said tw base defense sixty six twenty one. Why do you say twenty eight? I went twenty one anyway. Okay. It's twenty one. I counted out right on the board, I just wrote it down wrong. Alright, so that's twenty one. I knew it wasn't twenty eight. 21. So first and 10 on the 28. That's what I meant. And we have 10 minutes to play in the first half. And here comes the Seattle Seahawks. Remember, Sebastian Janikowski is their kicker. He's got quite a big leg. So they've come out passing on this drive. First and 10 from the 28. And they're going to go pitch out Chris Carson. It's a it's an outside run for Carson. And the red die jump. That's a five. So the first one, boy, if we can get a high roll. Oh, and it jumped again. Boy, it just doesn't want to stay on there. You son of a gun. Get back over here. It's GGO's friend here. All right, stay on the board. And that's a that was a five. So that is a 35. And it'll stay a 35. Black die is black. Blank. And they roll for defensive coverage is an eight. And they're keying the run. So I hand a, a pitch out 35. B or a G. So that's a second column. It's a three-yard gain for Carson. He hasn't really been able to get going. It's only his second carry. He now has two yards as his first carry was minus one. So it'll be second and seven. Is that 28 that moved one two three so second and seven under 10 minutes to play in the half three nothing Dallas second and seven The Seahawks will now go with a – does Davis have another catch in him? Yes, he does. They're going to go flare pass, short pass um, to Davis, and that's a 12 play call. Dice roll will go up one, so he's looking for Davis in the flat. Russell Wilson throws to Davis. That is not good. They're looking for a short pass. 1-2 goes to a 1-3. And they're keying that. And a 1-3 is a catch, but it's minus 3 yards. And would have been better off dropping the ball. And with that, his receptions are done. And it's minus 3. So it will be 3rd and 10 as they give those 3 yards right back. Good play by the Cowboys' defense. Just over eight minutes to play in the half. 3 nothing Dallas. They're definitely in Janikowski field goal range here. So it's third and ten for Russell Wilson and the Seahawks' offense. And they're going to go on third and ten medium pass to Tyler Lockett. On third and ten. Or we might go short. 
Tyler Lockett. They're going to go a short pass to Tyler Lockett, which is a 14. It's a 10, so it's going to go up three. Russell Wilson back to pass. He throws, and that's a 36 against a base defense, and that's going to go up three. It's a 10 against a 7. So 36 against a B. 44, 45, 46, 9 yards. Oh, man, had we went medium. 36, 44, 45, 46. So it's going to be fourth and one. As they bring the chains out, and he is just short. So a plus nine. That's why it's almost better to throw the medium passes. A plus nine. To Tyler Lockett. He's now good for four receptions. Plus nine. It is fourth and one decision time here for the Seahawks. Three nothing. And we have... Chris Carson, who on an inside run is an 8 against a 7 defense. And on 4th and 1, this is the playoffs. They're going to give the ball inside to Chris Carson. Can the D Dallas defense turn back the clock to Doomsday? Here's the handoff to Carson, and they will. It's a 1-6. It goes up to a 2-2. Two -two. And he 2-2 two -two smothered for no gain. Oh, wow. The Dallas defense holds on fourth and one. Carson now has three carries, two yards. Oh, wow. We forgo the field goal on fourth and one. Seven minutes of turnover on downs. There's going to be some controversy. Wow. Wow. For the Seattle coaching staff there. They went for it on 4th and 1. And they didn't get it. As Carson was stood up and pushed back at the line of scrimmage. And here comes Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. With under 7 minutes to play in the half. And they have a 3 nothing lead. Been a defensive slobber knocker. Though Russell Wilson has found some seams in that secondary of the Cowboys. They're going to go pitch out on this first play to Ezekiel Elliott. And the Red Die just loves jumping the shark. That's a four. And a one. And it's a base defense. So that will stay a one four on the pitch out. Minus two yards. So the Seahawks defense not giving up anything to the Cowboys, minus two to Ezekiel Elliott. And it will be second and 12. So the defense standing stout. Just over five minutes of playing the first half, three nothing Cowboys. Second and 12. Cowboys are going to look for Amari Cooper on a medium pass. Prescott back to pass looking for Cooper. And that's a 45 against the base defense. We'll go to a 46. Amari Cooper is a left end. So a 46 against a B. 18 yards. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Out to the 35. What a big play by Dak Prescott and Amari Cooper, plus 18. Cooper now good for th four more receptions. He has three receptions totaling, uh, that is 30, 40, 50 yards in receptions. So that's a first down. Cowboys looking to put some more points on the board before the half. Remember, Seattle deferred. They'll get the ball first in the second half. Under five minutes of play. 
And we're going to look medium pass to Cole Beasley. That's a 7 against a 7. No dice roll modification. 1-4. Black dies blank. We roll for coverage. That's a 2. So they're playing the run. And a medium pass. And that is incomplete. So the pass was there, but Prescott, bad pass. So second and 10 from the Dallas 35. With just over four minutes to play in the half. Second and 10. And the Cowboys will look to... Do we already use Mike Gallup on two? No, we still have one more for Mike Gallup. And they're going to go over the top. They're going to go deep to Mike Gallup. That's a 20 play call. That's an 8 against a 7. It will go up 1. We need a high roll here. And that's a 34 against a base defense on a deep pattern to Gallup, who is a flanker listing. And a 34 goes to a 35 incomplete. Had we went medium against the base, we would have had 12 yards. We got a little greedy there. So it'll be third and 10. Another incomplete pass for Dak Prescott. Trying to pick, pick up big chunks of yards there. Under four minutes of playing the half. Third and 10, three nothing Cowboys. As Seattle on a fourth and one, Carson got stood up and pushed back at the line of scrimmage. Turnover and down. So third and ten. And now they will go medium pass to Gallup. And again, it will go up one on the dice roll. And that is a 36. Goes to a 44. They're going to pick it up against the base defense. So Gallup will have his second reception and be done. So a 36, it is an 8 against a 7. I have that covered. I'm sorry. That's an 8 against a 7. So 36 goes to 44 against a base, which is the second column. And a 44 is plus 15 yards. And a first down. So out to midfield. And Michael Gallup's receptions are done. Can't go back to him now. But two receptions. And 36 yards, quite productive for Gallup. Tribes fans join us in the chat. How you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. And what's blazing in sports? Yep, HBO no longer is doing any boxing. They got out of the boxing business. They thought it was too expensive. As Tribes says, Pete Carroll runs the ball and still doesn't work. Well, on fourth and one, I chose to run. You are right. So the Cowboys coming up big here. Three minutes to play. And they're at midfield with a 3-0 lead. Been quite a good game. So Gallup, again, where the way we're playing, he's done. He has his two receptions. But we got good value out of it. I got. I think I have to start foregoing a lot of short passing when I do these games. Because you're not really getting the value for it. Unless it's down on the goal line. All right, first and ten for midfield. Gallup's day is done. And there is three minutes to play in the game. We're going to go. Medium pass to Alan Hearns. He's, he's designated a left end. He's good for one reception. It's an eight. And that is a 16 play call. Dice roll modification will go up one. And that's a 26. Normally would be a penalty. Goes to a 33. The black dies blank. We roll for coverage. And that is a 4. And that is a blitz. So a 26 goes to a 33. His designation. Alan Hearns is left end. So a 33 against the blitz. Under pressure. The throw. Not there. As the pressure just disrupts Zach Prescott enough. And it will be second and ten for midfield.
So second and ten for midfield. Remember to check out What's Blazing in Sports for all your boxing needs with T-Dub. How's the little man doing, my friend? And also check out Tribes Fan on his channel. He's doing the Minnesota Twins replay. I forgot what year. 65, I think. I could be wrong about that. What's Blazing in Sports says, Their numbers were bad, not making the right fights, and not catering to the American fans. No, they made stupid fights. They made fights that weren't even wide world of sports fights, for God's sakes. And they want to know why people weren't watching. They made bad fights. You're exactly right, T-Dub. Exactly right. You make bad fights, people aren't going to watch. So it's second and ten from midfield. And again, they're going to go medium pass to Alan Hearns. Prescott back to pass looking for Hearns. And again, 1-6. Black tie is blank. Oh, boy. And that is a zero. So it's going to, a zero will be a base defense. A one. A 2 and a 0 are all... Oh, no, a 0. What is a 0? Yeah, a 0 is a base defense. A 0... No, that's not right. A 1's a base defense. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. A 2's a base defense. An X is a base defense. Oh, no, and a zero is also a base defense. Yeah, that's how I play it. All right, so a base defense, medium pass, 1-6 goes to 2-2, two, two, and that will be incomplete. So it's going to be 30 and 10, back-to-back -back incompletions for Dak Prescott, third and 10. And that's the two-minute warning before the half. Three-nothing Cowboys. They'd like to get in field goal range here. Third and ten. Well, we want to pick up this ten yards here. But we've had good luck with Amari Cooper. We're going to go back to a medium pass to Amari Cooper. And he's also a left end designation. So third and ten. Will the drive continue? We shall see. No, it shall not. <laughs> As that's a 1-3. It'll go up to a 2-2. Two, 1-3 two, goes to a 1-4, excuse me. And that is a base defense incomplete. So the Seahawks hold once again. The uh, Prescott and the Cowboys fizzle out at midfield. And it's fourth and ten. And they will punt. So at the end, when you have timeouts... You call your timeouts, which means no ticks come off the clock. They're not going to call timeout here because a punt's only two ticks. And I'll leave uh, three ticks so you'll start calling timeout. So here comes the punt. And the punter is Chris Jones. His last punt was 53 yards. He'd like to pin him inside the five. And that's a 1-3. He might pin that inside the five. A 1-3 on the punt is 37 yards, a little shorter than he'd like. 10, 20, 30. Five, six, seven. So at the 13, and the so that's a 37-yard punt. He really didn't cough and corner it like he should have. And now on the return will be Lockett. Can he rip off a big punt return? In this game, you don't get a lot of big punt returns in Fran Tarkin football. I have not modded that yet. I've modded the field goals. So here's the return, and that's a 45, which will be a decent return. It's a 6 C 45, only 6 yards. And 6-yard return by Lockett. Six brings it out to the 19. And now they'll use their timeouts. So timeout, so we have 4 plays left. Four, four or five plays, depending on what happens after the timeouts. So a plus six by Lockett on the punt return. He had no yards on his first return. Three nothing Cowboys. Remember, Seattle gets the ball first in the second half. They deferred. Jake Cruz has joined us in the chat. As Tribes fan says, his replay is the 2016 Twins. Thank you very much, my friend. All right. Hope all is well, Jake. So here comes Russell Wilson. They call timeout. They have two left. And Russell Wilson will go deep downfield to Tyler Lockett. That's a 10. It's going to go up three. So he's going deep to Lockett. And that is a 66. 
Black die was a leaner. We re-roll. Oh, my Lord. He went deep to lock at 66. This is going to be a huge play. We roll for coverage. That's a four, and it's a blitz. They just burned the blitz for a touchdown. They burned the blitz for a touchdown. Wow. So Tyler Lockett, as Russell Wilson goes for it all, he's a flanker. It's a 56. That's a 10. It mods up to a 66. They burn the blitz. The blitz doesn't get there. Russell Wilson's mobility gets away from it, fires the ball downfield, and that is a touchdown. 81 yards. And just like that, with one pitch and catch, the sounds of silence here in Dallas as Seattle goes up 6-3. to three, We await the extra point. Holy cow. 81 yards. Pete Carroll jumping up and down on the sideline. Eighty one yards, Tyler Lockett. That's why he's a ten. And now he's good for three more receptions. And it's six to three. And because there's a timeout, no time went off the clock. And here comes the extra point by Sebastian Janikowski, who used to kick a long time ago. A long time with the Raiders, excuse me. And now we switch to the two ten sided die, zero through ninety nine. Sebastian Janikowski. Extra points, 94%. He was 51, 48 of 51. So, 1 through 94, the extra point is good. Double zeros, it is blocked. And 95 or more, he misses it. So, here's the extra point by Janikowski. And that is a 69. He boots it through 7 nothing. I mean, 7 to 3, excuse me, right before the half. Seattle, wow on an 81-yard touchdown pass from Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett. Now let's mark that down. Holy cow. So in the second quarter, with a minute left at the, at the one-minute mark, 81-yard. Touchdown pass. Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett. Kick good. So it's seven to three, and here comes the kickoff by Sebastian Janikowski. The Dallas sideline and fans are stunned. Jerry Jones is having a coronary in the box, in the owner's box. Here comes the kickoff from the 35 by Sebastian Janikowski. What a unbelievable play there just before the half. And that is a 1-4. So Janikowski kind of um, uh, short kicks it. 1-4. That's a 50-yard kickoff. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 at the 15. Here comes a return by Darius Jackson. That's a 5-6. It's going to be a big return, 35 yards. Oh, boy, a 6-6 would have been a long gainer. So 35 yards, 10, 20, 30, out to the 50. And that leaves one tick left on the clock. Dallas with three timeouts will call timeout. So they're down by 4-7-3. They'd like to put up three points and pull to within one. Wow. So a great return by Darius Jackson. 35 yards puts the in a short kick puts the Cowboys at midfield. Kick only went to the 15. And here comes Dak Prescott. And they have all three of their timeouts. They call timeout now again. There's only one tick left on the clock, so they have to do what they want to do in these three timeout situations. And they're going to go medium pass. To Amari Cooper. Cooper has already caught. He's good for seven receptions. He's caught three, so he has four left. So medium pass to Amari Cooper. 
And Cooper is a designated left end. Here's they're looking for Cooper. Here's the throw. Oh boy, one two will go up to one three. Black dies blank, and that is a nine. And they had the wrong coverage, but the pass is not hooked up. And that is an H. And it's a 1-2, goes to a 1-3. So they avoid the sack, and Prescott's able to throw the ball away. And it will be second and 10, but that doesn't matter. They use their second timeout. They only have one left. Now they're going to have to get a chunk downfield. Medium pass again to Amari Cooper. Prescott back to pass. Looking, looking, looking. And that's a 22. That's not going to get it done. Let's roll the black die. It's a 5. And again, they're playing pass. 22 goes to 23. Incomplete. One timeout left. They need at least, I would think, Mahar from 40 to 49 is 63%. So they got to get to the 30, that's 20 yards. They're going to go deep to Amari Cooper. They're looking for a big play. They're using their last time out. There's the... Oh, that's a leaner, but that's a 1-3. They're keying it. 1-3 goes to 1-4 on the deep pass to Amari Cooper. No flag on the play. 1-3 goes to 1-4. And they lucked out there because it would have been picked. But the 1-4 moves it up. Incomplete as that ball is almost picked off. And they have used their last time out. So this is the last play of the half. Even though it's fourth down, they're throwing it up deep to Amari Cooper. Hoping for something. Hoping, praying, wishing. And the wish will not be answered. That's a 1-4 against pass coverage. 1-4 goes to 1-5. Incomplete, and that's the half. Four incompletions to end Dak Prescott's half. But the bomb from Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett. Extra point good, 7-3 to three. Seattle. Holy cow. We'll start the third quarter in a moment. Wow. Huge play at the end of the half. Kind of kicking myself for not taking the field goal now <laughs> for the uh, Seattle. So 7-3. to three. We're going to start the third quarter in moments as I just have to erase the board. Now, now remember, Seattle won the – well, I did that offline – won the roll. They deferred, so they will get the ball first. So the Cowboys will have to kick off to them. 7-3. to three. Another thriller here in Texas. We had a good one in Houston yesterday. Let's go to the chat real quick. Is everyone just saying hello to Jake? Remember, we have What's Blazing in Sports, excellent boxing channel. Tribes fan, he's doing the 2016 Twins replay, another fun channel. And we had Ron Juckett in earlier. And John St. Batiste, also content creators. Bobby Cantalano. Let's see who else. We had a couple other people. I don't want to miss them. They're kind enough to come in here. Let me get my their names correct. Dave Gardner, HockeyTournaments.com. And Fan Attic. Excuse me. Fan Attic's a film. Great entertainment channel. Check out all our wonderful content creators in our community. Not just these fine people who are in my chat tonight, but the many more. Check out who they subscribe to, who are their featured channels, who are their related channels. And continue to let our community grow. It is quite eclectic. Sports, music, entertainment, movies, TV. You name it, we have it. Books, everything. We might be a small YouTube channel when it comes to subscribers. But when you put us all together, when you put a bunch of sticks together and you try to break it, it doesn't happen, does it, folks? All right, here's the third quarter, and Dallas will be kicking it off. It will be Mahar kicking the ball off to lock it. They're down 7-3. to three. Here's the kickoff, and that's a 23 on the kickoff. A 23 is 55 yards. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, down to the 10. 
And here's the return by Lockett. And that's a 1-6 on the kick return. And a 1-6 is 22 yards. So 10, 20 out to the 32. And that's where Seattle will start with a 7-3 lead. That bomb, that 81-yard touchdown pass from Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett just with one minute left in the half. Extra point good, 7-3 lead for Seattle. Remember, they forego, we for, they forewent for go, whatever you want to call it, a pretty much a chip shot field goal for Sebastian Janikowski on fourth and one. Carson got stood up at the line of scrimmage and pushed back. So first and ten for Seattle up seven to three. And we're going to look for. I think Moore's all done. Yep, Moore's all done. He has his one reception. was 23 yards. I think we're going to go to Baldwin. Doug Baldwin, medium pass. That's an 8 rating. That's a 16 as Baldwin's designated a left end. So that's a 16 play call. 8 rating. It's a 7 defense. It'll go up 1. They're going to look for Baldwin on the medium pass. And that's a 66. The defensive dies a leaner. And it, they have it keyed. So it's a right play call. But it's going to be a good gain. So a 66 against the right play call. Which would either be a D or an E. Last column. 23 yards. So again, Russell Wilson doing a job on this Cowboys secondary. That's 10. That's 21, 2, 3 to the Cowboy 45. Seahawks penetrate Cowboy territory once again. Lucky they had the good coverage, or that would have been a huge gain still. 23 yards is a big gain. So Baldwin, that's it for him. Oh, no, he has one more reception in him. So he has catches of 21 and 23 now, and he still has one more reception in him. First and 10 from the Cowboy 45. Seattle looking to take it to Dallas. Both teams seven rated defenses. Hello, Beatles attorney and the original Grognard. Check out Beatles All Things Baseball. Wonderful baseball knowledge. Loves dead ball, but he likes all baseball. Coming back to the States soon. And the original Grognard, all things strategy. All right, first and ten. And they're going to go medium pass. Once again, the Baldwin. This will be his last reception if he catches it. And he's not going to catch it. That's a 1-6. It'll go up to a 2-2. Two, two. Black dies blank. We roll for coverage. That is a 9. So it's the wrong coverage, but it will not matter. Uh... 2-2 two, two, incomplete. So that's incomplete. So it'll be second and 10. 7-3 Seattle. They scored right before the half on an 81-yard touchdown toss from Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett. Extra point good. So second and 10. Second and 10. Again, they're going to look medium pass to Baldwin. Second and ten. Russell Wilson feeling his oats. And that's not going to be good because that's a two. We always read the lower die first. So you just want to avoid a bad look. 26. It will go up one. It will go up one. So no penalty. Black dies blank. And that's a seven. They were keying the run. So a 26 goes to a 33. This might be a catch here, folks. So against an F, a third. Oh, incomplete. Oh, boy. Had it been an A or an H. And that is a 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's an F. So that is column 2. And a 33 is just incomplete. So it's third and ten from the Dallas 45. And now we're gotta we're gonna do the same thing again because we gotta pick up the yardage here. We could go short, which gives us a better opportunity to pick up yards, but
but it's third and ten. And once again, we will go medium pass to Baldwin on third and ten. Will, will the third time be a charm? No, it won't, as it will be a penalty. 25 moves to 26, disregard the die roll on the defense. So that's a penalty. So that's a penalty. And let's see who it's on. If it's on the offense, it will be declined. And most likely, the Seahawks will punt. But we have to see what type of penalty it is. All right, let's roll for the penalty. That's a 22. And a 22 is 5 yards on the offense. False start. So it will be, repeat the down, 3rd and 15. 3rd and 15. And I think we'll go away. It's just the, the dice gods don't like the medium pass to Baldwin right now. Uh, so we will go medium pass. And I should have done that before. Tyler Lockett. And that's a 10. It will go up 3 on the dice roll. So he's looking for Lockett on the medium. And that's a 46 against a D. They're going to pick it up though. So 46 against the right coverage. And they would have picked it up anyway. 46, 55, 56. 66, 21 yards. Let's make sure I did that right. 46 against the right coverage, which would either be D or E with last column. And so the 46 is here. Then you go up three. 55, 56, 60, 21 yards and a first. Tyler Lockett torching, torching the Cowboys. Plus 21. What a huge pitch and catch. He is good for two more receptions. So that's 15 yards here. To the 35, another 5, that's 20 to 30. So they're at the Dallas 29. First and 10 at the 29. We're already in Janikowski field goal range. Under 12 minutes of play in the third quarter, up 7 to 3. Todd B has joined us and USA Patriot 4163. Check out his channel, Military Strategy. Hello, Todd B. So a big play for the Seahawks. And again, Tyler Lockett was good for six receptions. He has four, so he's only had two more. He has the 81-yard touchdown. He's having quite a game against the Cowboys secondary. And we're going to go pitch out Chris Carson. He's been bottled up pretty much. That's why we went to the passing game. Here's the outside run to Chris Carson, and that's a 26. It stays a 26. Base defense doesn't matter. Another penalty here. So a penalty on that. We'll put a P there for penalty. Second penalty. We don't know who it's on yet. And that's a 25. And that will be five yards on the offense. And it'll be 1st and 15. So 1st and 15 from the 34. So 1st and 15. Again, they're going to go outside run. This time, Mike Davis on the outside run. And that's a 26 again. Another flag. Yellow hankies all over the field in these pass plays. So, my God. Just like a real game, we got yellow hankies all over the freaking place. And that's a 7, right? Yes, it is. Mike Davis. So, we roll for the penalty. And that's a 35. And on the penalty chart, a 35 is against the defense. So, they get that 5 yards back. Repeat the down. So, once again, it is. Yes, repeat the down. First and 10. It doesn't really tell you what the penalty is. So, we're just going to repeat the down. 10 minutes of play in the third quarter. 7 to 3 Seahawks. They're looking to add more. They're definitely in Janikowski field goal range. And we will go. You know what? We're going to go back to. That medium pass to Baldwin, that's an 8 plate defense uh, rating against a 7 defense. And that's a leaner with a 3. And that's a 46! 
against a base defense, and it's going to go up one. So finally, they connect up with Baldwin, and that will be his last reception, but it's going to be a doozy. 46, I think that goes to a 55 base against a base defense. Baldwin is a left end. That is a 46. 55, second columns where the B is at. 19 yards and a first down. 10, 20, back it up one. So first and 10 from the 11. Seattle can pick up a first down at the one. They're up 7-3, to three, looking to add more. They will not forego the field goal now, no matter what. As they went for it on fourth and one and were stuffed. And Baldwin is now done. And that was 19 yards, I said, right? Forty-six, fifty-five, nineteen. So that's plus nineteen. So Baldwin, three receptions, twenty-one, twenty-three, and nineteen yards. We got the bang out of buck for his three receptions. First and ten from the eleven. Seahawks can get a first down on the one. Under nine minutes of play in the third quarter, they lead seven to three. And again, looking to add more. They're going to go inside handoff to Chris Carson. That's an eight. That's an 8 against a 7 defense. Here's the handoff to Carson. And that's a 46. They're keying the run. 46 goes to a 55. 6 yards. As Carson keeps his legs churning. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, second and four. From the five. Six yards for Carson. And they're going to give him the ball again. In second and four. And that's a one four. We'll go to a one three. We'll go to a one four. Black dies blank. We roll for coverage. That's a seven. And they're keying the run. But I don't think they have the right gap covered. But it doesn't matter. 1-3 goes to 1-4 inside run. 1-3, 1-4, and he stood up at the line of scrimmage. It will be third and four. So Dallas defense front seven rises to the challenge. It will be third and four from the five. Janikowski's ready to boom through a short field goal here. Seven minutes of play in the third quarter, 7-3 to three Seattle. So, third and four. Short pass. Short pass to Tyler Lockett. It's a 10 against a 7 defense. It will go up three. Russell Wilson smelling touchdown here. And Tyler Wilson, uh, Tyler Lockett, excuse me. So that's a 14 play call and a 10 rating. Looking for that slant. And 1-5 will not get the job done. It goes up 3. And we got to roll up for the defense, but that's not going to do it on third down. And that is a 2. So they're playing the run as they're looking for Carson. So that is an A that goes to the second column. A 1 5 goes to 6 6 2 2 and 2 3. Had we had one more, it would have been plus 5 and a first. But in just great coverage, they break up the play. And it'll bring up fourth down. And here comes Sebastian Janikowski. And from the 5, you add 17, so this is a 22-yard field goal attempt for Janikowski to put the Seattle up 10 to 3. And 22-yard field goal attempt, 1 through 99. 1 through 99. Only a double zero, and that's a block. So Jan the yellow die jump. Janikowski... With a 22-yard field goal attempt. Again, from the 5, you back it up 17. 
And oh my lord, it doesn't matter. It had to be a block. 89. So he bangs it through. 22 yard field goal for Janikowski. And it's 10 to 3. Seattle. They would have liked to put seven points on the board, but good defense by the Cowboys in the red zone. Stymied it. They had to settle for the field goal. So that was a 22-yard field goal. Janikowski. And it's 10 to 3, and that came at the 7 minute mark. Oh, well, uh, just under 7 minutes. So we'll say at the 625 mark. We'll say 625. So Janikowski will kick off. Seattle has a 7 point lead now. So Janikowski will kick off to Darius Jackson, and it's 10 to 3, Seattle. The man doing the damage, Tyler Lockett for the Seahawks. Though again, the Cowboys defense did stiffen. They only they held him to the field goal. They're only down by a touchdown. So here's the kickoff. As we have to find the yellow die that jumped the shark. And where the heck did that one go? There it is. Found you, you little bastard. So here's the kickoff. That's a 26, and that's a freaking penalty. Joy to the world. Take two ticks off the clock. Who's the penalty on? That's a 36 on the kick team. Five yards, back them to the 30. And here comes a kickoff again by Janikowski. So someone must have been offside. And that's a boomer. That's a 56. We'd like to get those rolls on offense. So a 56 on the kickoff. 71 yards, and Janikowski booms it into the end zone. And they'll down it and take it at the 20. So the Cowboys, 80 yards away from tying it up. And under six minutes in the third quarter, it is 10-3 to three Seattle, hoping to advance on this wild card weekend pre-play. We had one yesterday. And we'll try to get all four games in. I don't know if we will, but we'll try. And we'll just compare the results. Now, we're looking just for point differential really in the results. Because, again, I've sped up the clock. The game goes long as it is. so And I sped the clock up in, in the recording of it. I appreciate anyone who's watching now or watches later. As Clark has joined us in the chat. And he says... We're going old school here. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Todd says, Al, you need the dice tower. I don't like dice towers. I like the adventure of the rolling dice, but thank you. All right, so here comes Dak Prescott and the Cowboys down by seven with just over five minutes of play in the third quarter. It's 10 to three. Seattle, if you just joined us, Seattle scored just before the half on an 81-yard touchdown bomb from Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett. And now they've kicked a field goal. All right, here come the Cowboys. And we're going to go pitch out Ezekiel Elliott on first down. So an outside run. It's a seven. It's a five play call, seven rating against a seven defense dice roll. No modification. And that's a leaner. And that's a 56. And they were keying Ezekiel Elliott, but that's a pitch out. 56, 16 yards, and a first down. They go out to the 36-yard line. Big run by Ezekiel Elliott. He was one broken tackle away from a long gainer, if not a TD, as he had a lot of turf out in front of him. That's 16 yards for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's good for 14 more carries. Cowboys needed that, that's for sure. That leaner came in handy. But remember, the leaner helped out <laughs> Seattle on one drive. So first and 10 from the 36. Again, this time, again, uh, we're going to go 
Handoff to Ezekiel Elliott. Inside run. This is an eight. It's a two play call. And it's an eight. So it's an eight against a seven. So it's a the dice roll moves up one. And that's a 33. We'll go to a 34. Black dies blank. We roll for coverage. And that is a base defense. So it's a 34 on an inside run halfback. B. And that is five yards. So it'll be second and five. From the Dallas 41, Dallas going ground and pound. Four minutes left in the third quarter. Dallas trails by a touchdown. Seattle 10, Dallas 3. So on the last two carries, Ezekiel Elliott has netted 21 yards. And he's good for 13 more carries. And once again, into the breach goes Ezekiel Elliott. Inside run. Elliott, that's a leaner. And that's a 34. They're keying Elliott, 34. An 8 against a 7 defense goes to a 35. 35 with the right play call, a plus 2. So it will be 3rd and 3 from the Dallas 43. This is very big here for the Cowboys. They need to pick up this first down. 3 minutes to play in the 3rd quarter. Down 10-7. 10-3, excuse me. Third and three. And Ezekiel Elliott now is good for 12 more carries. Third and three. What will it be? We shall see on a third and three. Did we already use Hearns? Did Hearns get his one catch? No, he didn't. We're going to go short pass. Short pass. To our backup left end, Alan Hearns. That's a 13 play call offensively. Eight rating against a seven defense. The dice will go up one. He's only allotted one catch. So it is third and three. They're going with a short sideline pattern to Hearns. And that's a 35. They have the right play call. It goes to a 36. That might be enough to pick up those three crucial yards. So that's 35, goes to 36. They have the right play call. 35 goes to a 36. Six-yard gain! Three, four, five, six. At the Dallas 49. That was clutch by Hearns. And that's his only, he's only allotted one catch. He's done, but it picked up a first. So Dak Prescott ends his incompletion streak as he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven incomplete passes till then. So it's first and ten at the Cowboy 49. Good job by Dak Prescott and Alan Hearn. He's done now for the day. Amari Cooper still has four receptions in him. And we have just over two minutes to play in the third quarter. Ten to three Seattle looking to advance in wild card weekend. Gallup's done, I think. We got his two. Yep. So Gallup's done. We still have Blake Jarwin and Cole Beasley. And we're going to go pitch out to Ezekiel Elliott. And that is a five offensive play call. It's a seven rating. It's a seven rated defense. Freaking red die jumped. So the dice roll stays even. Here's the outside run by Ezekiel Elliott. And that's a 23 black dies blank. We roll for defensive coverage. That is a 4. They're blitzing. So a 23 stays out of 23. Against a C. No yards. As they stretch it out. The blitz is able to stretch out the outside run. So Ezekiel Elliott gets nothing. And he's down to 11 carries now. And it'll be 2nd and 10. As we are approaching the end of the third quarter, two minutes left. Cowboys trail by seven. Seattle's up 10 to three. So second and 10. And the freaking die are not cooperating. Get back over here. Maybe I will get a dice, whatever, tower. <laughs> All right, second and 10. Second and 10. Inside run. Ezekiel Elliott trying to make it a more manageable third down. And that's a base defense. The X means a base defense. 
And that's a 35 at 8 play rating against the 7 defense. 35 goes to a 36. And that's a gain of 6. So it'll be 3rd and 4. At the Seattle, 45. So that's a plus 6 for Ezekiel Elliott. And he is good for 10 more carries. He is a workhorse. When doing the research, he got... He was one of the few backs. He gets a ton of carries. One minute left in the third quarter. And it is third and four. Third and four. And we still have Jarwin, who's a seven. We can't really mess around here on third and four, though. We might have to go to Amari Cooper. Actually, we're going to go inside run Ezekiel Elliott's third and four as the third quarter comes to an end. And that's a 45. And I'll go to a 46. The black die is blank. We roll for coverage with the yellow die. That is a six. And they were looking for a short pass. So 46. And we go to E on the handoff inside run to Ezekiel Elliott. That's the second column. And 45 goes to a 46. Eight yards and a first down. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. To the Seattle 37. So Ezekiel Elliott and the Cowboys go ground and pound. And Elliott has nine more carries in him. One more play left. In the third quarter. And it'll be Ezekiel Elliott once again. Inside run Elliott. 46! That's going to go up to 55 I believe. We roll for defensive coverage. They're looking pa uh, pass. So they're playing a pass defense again. Yep. So that's a D and a 46. Goes up one as it's an 8 offensive play against a 7 defense. So 46 goes to 55D. Middle column again. 8 yards. And that will end the half. 40, I'm sorry, 46. Excuse me. 46. D, middle column, 46, 55. 8 yards. 8 yards, I was correct. And that's how the third quarter ends. We have 15 more minutes of football to go. And it's going to be second and two. How do you do with 15 minutes of ball to play? Whew! So with 15 more minutes to play in this football game, another wonderful wild card weekend here. We had a close one yesterday. We had a close one today. It's 10 to 3 Seattle. Give you the quick scoring synopsis before we start the final 15 minutes of football. Cowboys got on the scoreboard first with a 39 yard field goal by Mahar. I probably should mark the team as, you know, that would be helpful, but I know the players, but it'd be more helpful when you take a quick look at it. It was 3 0. Then Seattle came back. With one minute to go in the half, an 81-yard touchdown pass from Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett. Extra point good by Janikowski, 7-3. to three. And then on the first drive by Seattle, they marched it all the way down. And they settled for a 22-yard Sebastian Janikowski field goal. And that made it 10-3. to three. And that's how we stand. We go in the fourth quarter. Dallas on. The 29-yard line, and it is second and two after the eight-yard run by Ezekiel Elliott to end the third quarter. And he's good for eight more carries. Ezekiel Elliott has been a workhorse. And we'll go to the chat in a second as I love the erasable marker. Better than when this game originally came with like a uh, a colored pencil, a red pencil. That was a pain in the ass to erase, but it did erase. Let's go to the chat real quick. Stratomatic Delaware has joined us. How are you doing, my friend? Check out he just put up a football game, Football Fury or something like that. I'll be looking at that later. 
as everyone's saying hi to Strat Delaware. Another great channel in our community, Stratomatic Delaware. All right, final quarter of football. Cowboys trail by seven, ten to three, and it's second and two. And they're going to go inside run once again, ground and pound to Ezekiel Elliott. And this time it's a double one. That cannot change. A double one does not change. Ouch. A double one does not change. Just like a 6-6 six, six cannot go up or down. A 6-6 six, six can't go down. A double one can't go up. And that is not good. Most likely this is a fumble. So Seattle's defense could be coming up huge here. Ouch. So the black die was blank. We roll for coverage. That's a 7. They were keying the run, but not the right gap. So that's an F on an inside run. Again, the 1-1 one, one does not go up. F. But because they're keying the... Oh, they lucked out. They lucked out the Cowboys. Minus three yards. Had it been anything besides an F or a C, it was a fumble. And then you would roll to see who got the fumble. So minus three yards as he the ball bobbles in his hands, but he does not fumble. And it's going to be 30 and 5 now. Wow. They lucked out. So minus three, he almost fumbles the ball. Seven carries left for Ezekiel Elliott, and it's third and five. But the Cowboys dodge a bullet, as they say. Appropriate for the Cowboys, right? As Stratomatic Delaware says mockingly, go Cowboys. He says, I almost said it with a straight face. I knew what you meant. All right, so big third and five here. And we're going to have to go to Amari Cooper now. We're going to have to use a reception for Cooper. And Amari Cooper, we're going to go short pass. We need a completion. The shorter the pass, the better chance of a completion. Amari Cooper was good for seven receptions. He has um, caught three, so he still has four in him. We're going to go short pass to Amari Cooper. That is a 13 play call, an 8 rating on the offensive play call against a 7 defense. The dice roll will go up 1. Amari Cooper, 13. So we need a good roll here. If you're a Cowboys fan, that's a 2-2. Two, two. We'll go to a 2-3, and I don't think that's going to make it. Black dies blank. We roll for coverage, and that's a 2. They were playing a run, so a 2-2 two, two goes to a 2-3 incomplete no matter what the defense was. We need to get to a 2-4 there to pick up 4, which would have made it a 4th and 1 in an interesting decision. So incomplete. 14 minutes left in the game, and it is ten to 10-3. The ball is on the 32. You add 17. That is a 49-yard field goal attempt. And Mahar, 63% from that. So double zeros would be blocked. And a 1 through 63 would be good. 64 and higher is no good. So it is third and five. Fourth and five, excuse me. Fourth and five. We have to roll a 63 for the field goal. That would bring us to within four. Fourth and five. Here comes the field goal kicker. So here comes Mahar as there's still 14 minutes left in the game. It'll be just under 14 minutes when we roll. So we got to roll... Double zero means it's blocked, and we need a 1 through 63. Mahar, the snap to place the kick, and it's a 79, a 97, excuse me, he shanks it wide left. So that's a missed field goal for Mahar, and the Seattle will take over. What the hell is the rule there? They take it over? You know what? I forgot. I don't know the exact rule. So they're going to take it over at the line of scrimmage. I can't remember if they backed it up the three yards or the seven yards. Well, we're going to say, God, do they take it back there? I remember that was a rule. 
So Mahar misses a 49-yard field goal attempt. He made one from 39. Now he misses from 49 in the fourth quarter. Take good night, Chris Stratomatic Delaware. Check out that wonderful channel. As Clark says, does this game account for the refs favoring the Cowboys with penalties? No, it does not. <laughs> so we're just going to do it at the line of scrimmage. I think they actually do back it up to the point of where they place the ball, but we're going to let them take it over on the 32. So Seattle's defense holds. The field goal is missed. They're still up 10-3. to And with just over 13 minutes to play in the game, they're looking to advance out of wild card weekend. Again, this is I, I rated these teams using a very old Stratomatic football game called Fran Tarkenton Offensive Play Football. I, ma I used football reference, and I reverse-engineered it to the best of my ability. I gave player ratings, which they didn't originally do. I changed the way the field goals are. I actually using their exact percentages that they had this year for the distance, which is kind of fun. And I'm also making my own football game. And it's, this has given me a lot of ideas. Of, I've changed my own football game four freaking times now. Not all, you know, I'm not not anywhere close to being done, but just modding different things as I come across. So, all right. So Seattle takes over. Kyle, but Jerry Jones having a conniption fit in the owner's box. So here come the Seahawks up ten to three, and just over thirteen minutes of play. Carson's still good for fourteen carries. And Captain Ground and Pound, who hasn't been so much Ground and Pound, will get the ball in the inside run. That is an 8 against a 7 defense. So it's a handoff to Chris Carson. And that's a t base defense. 23 goes to a 24B. 24, 2 yards. As he's been pretty much bottled up. And it'll be 2nd and 8. He's good for 13 more carries. And Seattle looking to chew up clock now with a touchdown lead. Under 13 minutes of play. Second and eight. Second and eight. And Seattle has this wonderful player called Tyler Lockett. How many more receptions does Lockett have in him? Two. And he has been outstanding. He had that 81-yard touchdown catch before the half to give them the seven extra point. And with the extra point, give him a 7-3 lead. And it is 2nd and 8. And we're going to go short pass to Doug Baldwin. Has No, Doug Baldwin's done. We can't go to him anymore. He has his three receptions. Short pass to the tight end, Nick Vanett. He's good for one reception. And that is a 7 offensive rating against a 7 defense. So they're looking for the short pass on 2nd and 8. And that's going to be a 25. They're keying it. Uh, the short slant to the tight end. 25 incomplete. So Russell Wilson, who's been pretty good today, it's incomplete. So it's going to be 3rd and 8. Can the Dallas defense hold and get the ball back? 12 minutes to go in the game. Third and eight. And now they will go medium pass to Tyler Lockett. This is a 10. It will go up three. It will go up three. And that's a 17 offensive play call. And it's a 10 rating. It's a seven defense. They're looking for Lockett on the medium pass. That's a 34. I'm picking this up. Against... The black die is blank. We roll for coverage. That's a seven. <laughs> they have a totally bad coverage, blown coverage there. So 34 against an F. And Tyler Lockett, flanker. So 34, 35, 36, 44 against an F. Oh, boy. 15 yards. Make sure I did this right. No matter what, it's a completion. I just want to make sure I did it right. It's tough to see um, 
34, then it goes 35, 1, 36, 44, 15 yards and a first down. But Tyler Lockett only is good for one more reception. They've definitely got the money's worth out of Tyler Lockett. That's plus 15 for Russell Wilson and his passing yardage. But more importantly, a big first down and under 12 minutes to go in this football game. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, out to the 47 of the Seahawks. And again, they're going to go hand off Chris Carson. And right, that is a two offensive play call. It's an eight rating against a seven defense. So the dice roll will go up one. And that's a 16. That is god awful. It'll go to a 2-2. Two, two. Black dies blank. We will roll for defensive. Uh, they're looking pass. And it's a 2-2 two, two inside run on a 2-2 two, two E. A 2-2 two, two E is a one yard gain. So it'll be second and nine. So one yard for Chris Carson who's running more like Johnny Carson, and he's good for 11 more carries. One, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten, ten more. He's good for 10 more carries. Excuse me, I missed one. Okay. So second and nine, but the clock going tick, tick, tick. Under 11 minutes of play. Second and nine. Russell Wilson will call his own number on the bootleg. That is an eight. He's good for four runs. But we need a high roll here to make this advantageous. And we're not going to get it. That's a 1-5. Goes to 1-6. They were looking. They were spying Russell Wilson on the bootleg, which is a 10. And that means they had the right defense. So we go off the column number 1. Had it been CDFG, big gain. Well, if we had the roll. So 1-5 goes to 1-6. Minus a yard. Russell Wilson goes nowhere as they spy him. He's good for two more carries. So he has two carries for two yards. First carry is for three yards. So he loses that yard. And it's going to be third and ten. Ten minutes to play. In the game. Ten to three. Seattle. Third and ten. And lock it. He's only good for one more reception, but I think this is a big part of the game here. Got to pick up the 10 yards. You don't want to waste a short pass. It's, we have one more reception in Tyler Lockett. Um, Moore's done. Baldwin's done. Lockett has one more. We're going medium pass to Tyler Lockett. We want to pick up this first down. It will move up three on the dice roll to the good. And that's going to be good, 44. And his last catch will be tremendous. It will go up three. Black dies blank. We roll for coverage. And that is a base defense. The one is a base defense. So 44. Lockett's a flanker designation. 44, no matter what. Even if there was no, if it was even, it was plus 15 first down. But it's going to go 45 and 46. And 55, 18-yard gain. 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 to the Dallas 35. And it's first and 10 with under 10 minutes of play. The clock goes tick, tick, tick. And the chains keep moving along down the highway. Russell Wilson having quite a game. That was, what was that, 18 I said? Yep, 18. But now Tyler Lockett, who we allotted seven receptions, uh, six receptions, excuse me, is done. We can no longer go to Tyler Lockett. Nine minutes left in the ball game. no more Tyler Lockett. But that was huge right there. Who we have eligible still to throw to. 
we can throw to Chris Karen once out of the backfield. Mike Davis is done out of the backfield. Rashard Penny, we can throw to four times. Um, Tyler Lockett's done. He has four, uh, his six receptions, 18, 9, 81 yard touchdown, 21, 15, and 18. Doug Baldwin got his three, 21, 23, and 19. So we have Nick Vanett, Jared Brown, Ed Dixon, and the fullback Trey Madden with one. And Trey Madden is actually a nine. Um, the few times he caught the ball, he had good yardage. And we're going to go medium pass, a uh, circle route to the fullback out of the backfield here. So Russell Wilson looking for his seldom used fullback. And that's a 56! Holy cow! That's gonna that's an that is a nine against a seven defense. So it goes up to a 66 against the base. And that's a 24 yard pickup as they totally fool the Cowboys. So we have 10, 23, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, down to the 11. Wow. So Trey Madden, 24-yard pickup, Trey Madden. You know what? Can't ask for anything more. Is one reception, 24 yards. <laughs> Holy cow. He's done. But it's going to be first and 10 from the 11. They're up 10 to 3. Any points here makes it a two possession game. A field goal makes it 13 to 3. And the Cowboys will need two possessions. And there's under 9 minutes of play in this football game. And now all they're going to do. Is ground and pound inside run. Chris Karen, can the Dallas defense come up stout? They need to. And that's going to be a 1 2. It'll go to a 1 3 with the modification. Eight play offense against a seven defense. We roll for the defensive coverage because it's a blank black die. And that's an eight. And they're keying him. So they have the right play call. And it is a 1 2. Moves to a 1 3 minus two yards as he is shoved back. The Dallas defense knows they have to hold to a field goal. But they'll give them still a chance to win with a touch. Uh, oh, no, it's still any points. It's 10-3 now. Any points makes it a two-possession game. They need a turnover. What am I saying? Minus two. And Chris Car Carson not having a stellar day here. He has nine more rushes in him. But more importantly, we go under eight minutes in the ball game. Minus two, so it'd be second and twelve from the thirteen. Again, handoff inside Carson, and they're not getting good rolls here. Twenty-two against the base defense. Twenty-two goes to twenty-three, gets those two yards back. And it'll be third and ten. Seven minutes of play. And he's good for eight more carries. And they're just going to hand the ball off once again. And this time he pops. That is 4-6. And that's going to move up to a 4-6. Goes to a 5-5, five, five, I believe. The black die is blank. So we roll for coverage. And, oh, boy, they're in some sort of... Sh oh, they're blitzing. They're blitzing. So a 4-6. This could be a touchdown. 4-6. Goes to 5-5. Five, five, 13 yards. Touchdown, as that's an 11-yard touchdown run. And this ball game, Don, Dandy Don Meredith is starting to uh, get his voice ready, turn out the lights, the party's over. And you know he was a Cowboy quarterback in the 60s. He's none too happy. I don't know if he's Dandy Don's still alive. I think he passed away. But there's the touchdown. And it is now 16-6. to An 11-yard run by Chris Carson. Seven more runs left in him. That's a TD, folks. Wow. 
So it's 16 to 3. And Jerry Jones is just head. He is distraught in the owner's box. So here comes Sebastian Janikowski for the extra point. Janikowski. Janikowski was 48 of 51. That's 94%. So his double zero is a block. One through 94 is good. And that is a 23. He puts it right through the uprights. So the extra point is good. So he's two for two for extra points. And that makes it seven. So it is 17 to three Seahawks on the 11 yard touchdown run. get to the right game out that was yesterday's game don't write the score on yesterday's game so in the fourth quarter at the six minute mark 11 yard TD run Carson and Seattle has a commanding 14 point lead 17 to 3 Janikowski will kick off to Darius Jackson. They need two scores to tie this. They need two touchdowns and extra points. They could go for two, but they need to just put scores on the board here, touchdowns. So Janikowski will kick off from his own 35, six minutes left in the ball game. To the sounds of silence here in Dallas. Here's the kickoff. That's a 35, and that's 60 yards. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 at the five. And Darius Jackson needs a huge return here. Come on, double sixes. No, he got one six. It's a one six. One six on the return. And that's 22 yards. 10, 20. So they take it out to the 27. And now there is under six minutes to play. And Dallas has to score quick. First and 10 from their 27. All right, here we go. Dallas needs two scores, which is like impossible in this game with six minutes. But you never know. You never know. We got to just throw this ball up. Amari Cooper obviously will be the target here. Amari Cooper still has four. Four receptions in him, and we need a big one now. We're going deep to Amari Cooper, and that is a 20 offensive play call. It's an 8 offensive rating against a 7 defense, so the dice roll will go up one. Come on, Dak Prescott, and that's a 22. We wanted 66s, and that's a D. They, they're keying Amari Cooper, and so 22 goes to a 23. Incomplete. As the coverage was there, and again, Dak Prescott's day has not been pretty. Lots of incompletions. It's just the way the dice roll goes sometimes. Five minutes to play in the game. Definitely two down territory here. Again, they're looking deep for Amari Cooper. And that's a uh, base. It's not going to be enough, though. Well, it might be against the base. 36. 36. Goes to 44, just incomplete. Oh, we need a 45 with the base defense. So now it's third and 10. We got to pick up the first here. So another incomplete under five minutes to play. Third and 10 from the 27. Medium pass, Amari Cooper. 46, they're keying him, but we're going to pick it up on this. 46, medium pass to Amari Cooper, who is a left end. So that's a 16 play call. 46 goes to a 55, 18 yards. And a first down. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, out to the Dallas 46. So that's plus 18 for Amari Cooper. He's had quite a day. He's good for three more catches. One, two, three, four catches. 10, 22, 18, and uh, That was 18. What the hell did I say? 10? So he's had 10, 22, 18, and 18. But now he's down to three more catches, as I say. So it's first and 10, and we have four minutes left in the ball game. And again, they're going to go deep to Amari Cooper. And 66! They needed that! It's going to be a long pass completion. The black die is blank, and it's an 8. Oh, boy! Oh, boy, that's a wrong play call. Well, let's see how bad it's, it's going to be. Definitely, it's a long gainer. So a 66, no matter what, it, had it been a blitz, it would have been a touchdown. So against the 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, they were looking run. I don't know why. They had the totally wrong play call. That's what happens when this you roll the dice for that stuff. But it doesn't matter, 66, it's a long gainer. So we need a high roll here. High roll, high roll, high roll, high roll. 45. 45 on the long gainer chart is 54 yards. Ah. Oh. So he will just be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, and I moved it up one, three, four. So they're at the two because I moved it up one to make it easier to count. So he's brought down, oh my lord, at the two. So it's first and goal. The Cowboys aren't dead yet, but a long gainer's four ticks. We just have over three minutes to play. Prescott, plus 54 on that. Amari Cooper now has two more catches in him. Plus 54. They needed that in a big way. And now, inside run, they need to score right now. Right now, they need to score. Inside run, Ezekiel Elliott. That is a 2. And it's an 8 offensive rating against a 7 defense. Get in, baby. He's in. Touchdown. That's a 46. That's academic. It doesn't matter what defense. So that is a 2-yard, and it goes up to a 55. A 2-yard touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. And that's what the Cowboys had to do, strike and strike quickly. So Ezekiel Elliott, plus two, touchdown. In the fourth, late in the fourth. And now here comes the extra point, as we're going to have to tick off. So we go under three minutes. Extra point they don't take anything off for. And we still have three timeouts left. So it's now 17 to 9. This is a huge extra point. Mahar, 97% on extra points. He needs a 1 through 97. And he gets a 52. He bangs it through. And just like that, the Cowboys are back in this game. They need to hold him now. They need to hold him. It's now 17 to 10. The big play, the 54-yard pass from Prescott to Cooper. And he still has two receptions in him. So, at the 3.30 mark of the fourth, two-yard TD run, Elliott. Kick. Good. What a game we have here in Dallas. And it's now 17 to 10. I guess we could try for an onside kick. We could try for an onside kick. Where's the onside kick chart? Oh, onside kick. Where the hell's the onside kick chart? We need a six. One through five. 
the return team recovers it. We need a six. And the ball would be recovered at the midfield. Again, because this is 1968 rules and where they kicked off from. I believe they kicked off at the 40 in 1968. Oh, boy. I think we got to go for the onside. Ah, but then they're pretty much... Forty-five. We have three timeouts. We have three timeouts. We'd have to use them so they wouldn't run in. We have to, we can't give up a first down, but then we'd have no timeouts left. What says the chat? Do we go for the onside kick? Todd B says, "Wow, big play, big play." Hmm. The only thing is, Sebastian Janik. You know what? One through. We need a six for the onside. We're going for the onside kick. Oh, God, I'd hate to give up a, a field goal after. Though, if they got a field goal, means if we don't recover the onside kick, it depends how what the roll is. We're going for the onside kick. We need a six. Yes, we get a six. The Cowboys recover the onside kick in all the confusion. The ball somehow gets bounced out to midfield. <laughs> and they will get the ball at so they will get the ball at the 50 again because it would have been at the 40. So they get it at the 45 actually. I can't that's I, I guess the ball could bounce around 5 more yards, right? They get it at the 50. So the Cowboys re Oh my lord, they get the onside kick. And there's two minutes left to play. Holy cow, you won't see anything more exciting than that. Jake Cruz is screaming, no time, no onside kick. You got three timeouts, but we lucked out. We rolled a six. You're right, Jake. You're right. But holy cow, the onside kick. And that, we got to put that in the scoring, even though it's not scoring. We're going to say onside kick recovery. I don't think I've ever, in all the years I've played this freaking game with my brother and my friends when I was a kid, I don't I don't ever remember me getting an onside kick. An onside kick recovery, Dallas. At the 50, as the ball bounced around in that scrum, and the Cowboys come away with it. And there's two minutes to play in the fourth, in the game. Cowboys need seven to tie, eight to win. Wow, so here comes Dak Prescott. Again, he just had that big completion to Amari Cooper that brought them down to the two. And Ezekiel Elliott pounded it in from there. If we go to overtime, all players will be eligible for everything. That's the way we're going to play that. Ezekiel Elliott, um, good for six more carries. Oh, my Lord, we have three timeouts, two minutes to go. Amari Cooper, let me make sure I count this right. One, two, three, four, five. Five receptions, he's good for seven. He has two more receptions in him. We don't obviously don't want to go freaking short with him. You don't want to waste receptions here. we got to go at least medium passes here. It's the beauty of this game. All right, wow. 17 to 10. Seattle. Boy, not going to that field goal looks haunting for me now as a I was fourth and one. I thought I'd pick up the one yard. Oh wow. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna do one toss, deep toss downfield. Right off the bat. To you know who, Amari Cooper. And that is a 20 play call. It's an 8 rating against a 7 defense. It will go up one roll. We need something at least to make sure we get a reception of 55. That's a reception all the way across the board. And we're not going to get that. That's a 1-5. Oh, boy. A 1-5 goes to a 1-6. They're Key and Cooper. And it's incomplete. He was double covered all the way down the field. Good news is, 
It did not waste a reception. We didn't. We don't have to call a timeout yet, and that's only two. When we get to one minute, then we start using our three timeouts because then the clock's going tick, tick, tick. Bleacher Bums Gaming is in the house. Anthony, how you doing, my friend? We just re recovered an onside kick, a one through six chance, and we did it. I don't know why I'm excited. I don't like the Cowboys, but I like to see a good game. This is my pre-play, if you've just joined us, my pre-play of the playoffs. I rated and made these teams using uh, Fran Tarkin in football offensive play calling. And this is from 1968. It was a lot of fun to do. It takes me some time, though. And I got to get this game up where I can just basically give it to people via spreadsheet. But that also takes time. All right, so second and ten. Second and ten. And again, we're going to... We need a touchdown. Amari Cooper going deep to Cooper. Oh, base defense, 22. And that's going to go up one. And that will be incomplete. So it will be third and ten. Another two ticks go off the clock. We have one minute left in the game. Now we'll use our timeouts. Our first timeout we will use. And it's third and ten. Now we want to pick up the first down here. But in reality, we're going to go deep one more time because on fourth down, we're going to go medium pass. You make a medium pass catch, though we should go two opportunities to trade. Yeah, we can't. We only have two more receptions for Amari Cooper. <sighs> going deep to Cooper again. 66! Holy cow! They're going to get Cooper again. The black die is blank. We roll for coverage. It's a five. Five. They're playing pass defense, obviously, but it's a 66 against an E. It's a long gainer. Holy cow. Could the Cowboys tie it up? Long gainer. We need 50 yards off the long gainer chart. We need a 44 or more, and it's a freaking 15. 32 yards. God damn it. 10, 20, 30, 1, 2. So that ball is now first and 10 from the 18. We'll use our second timeout. Oh, 32 freaking yards. Oh, wow. Plus 32. We use our second timeout. We have one left. And Amari Cooper has one reception left in him. You know, so we have we need 18 yards. 18 yards. We basically have two plays left. We have two plays. Um, possibly three with one incomplete pass. Medium pass. It's got to be a medium pass to Cooper. And we got to hope for more than 18 yards. Because a long pass, we have a better chance of completing a medium. Wow. As Clark says, this is making me sick, this Cowboy comeback. I don't even like the Cowboys, and I'm excited. All right, so this is the last time we can go to Amari Cooper if he catches it. This is it, folks. This is it. So we're going to go. A long pass is not an option here because, A, you can't go long pass. And it's, it's you want to go with a higher pass. The short pass is stupid. We have a better chance of completing it, but we're not going to get enough yards. You'd have to, the longest we can get. On a wrong play call, is a long gainer or 20. I mean, we could, but I'd hate to roll like a 44 and only pick up 11 yards. And that leaves us two pass plays. All right, medium pass. Amari Cooper, again, designated as a left end. We have to use the terminology back in the day because of the chart. Obviously, they don't call them that anymore. So a medium pass is a 16. This is the last time. If he catches it, it's the last time we can go to him. And if we go to overtime, all players are eligible again. All right, here it is. We need a big roll. We need something. It looks like we need a 46 or better. This will go up one. So Dak Prescott looking for Amari Cooper one more time into the breach. They go. That's a 44, folks. OT looking pretty good. Now go to 45. Black die is blank. They're playing a... Oh, boy. He splits the seam. He beats his defender. As we go off the B defense, 
which is a base defense. And 44 goes to a 45. Oh, my God, 16 yards. He is brought down at the two. Oh, my Lord, brought down at the two. No more timeouts left. Let me make sure I did that right. Oh, my God. So 44 goes to 45. I'm actually going to pick the board up because I can't freaking see that. I mean, I can see that. All right, so it's a B, zero, and a zero. A one is a base defense. A three is a base defense. A zero is a base defense and an X if we roll it. So it's a base defense, which is a B. When I say 44 goes to 45. Five, 16 yards, I'm right. So he's tackled at the two. And now with one, we can run the ball once. We can run the ball once. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Overtime looms. No more Amari Cooper. So, Ezekiel Elliott. This is it. If we run the ball, this is it. There's no more. We can try to throw it twice, but I, we're going to go Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott inside run. And again, it's going to come off the dice roll, too. I mean, you can't, obviously, they'd be playing a, a goal line defense, but I can't do that. That's unfair. We don't do that in this game. We let the dice tell us. It's a simulation. I call the plays. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Inside run. This is it. He's got to get two yards. It's an inside handoff to Ezekiel Elliott. 34. He's got it. He's got it. Black die is blank. We roll. And that's a base defense. 34 goes to a 35B. Touchdown! He plunges in. And the Cowboys are an extra point away as time has run out from going to overtime. Holy cow. All players, if we go to overtime, will be eligible. Every play call. There will be no... Uh, this is it. This is it. You play. Wow. So Ezekiel Elliott gets his second two-yard touchdown run. Plus two TD at the 15-minute mark of the fourth. We are an extra point away from a 17-17 ball game. Oh, my God. So now, Mayer... 97%, and I'll just show you. I took these numbers right out of football reference. I think you should be able to see that if I move that over. See how that's 97%? Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is important. So, 1 through 97, he makes it. Double zero, it's blocked. 98, 99, he misses. And it's an 84. It's a 17-17 game. We're going to overtime. Wow. Remember, he missed that 49-yard field goal. They would have won the game. And we four, we four, we didn't go for a field goal as we had it fourth and one in Cowboy territory. And I thought we could pick up the first down, down three nothing, and our guy got stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So, oh crap, we gotta play sudden. Oh no, it's not. I wish it was sudden death. All right, let me write this down. So. If a team scores a touchdown, they win. Okay. If they kick a field goal, the other team has an opportunity. Right? Right. Okay. Let's just... Oh, what, this... What a ball game, folks. What a ball game. With no time left on the clock, they give it to Ezekiel Elliott. He picks up his second two-yard touchdown run. They recovered the onside kick. That was huge. Amari Cooper was huge. Two-yard touchdown run. Elliott kick good. We head to OT. You play till you win. Unbelievable. That is the greatest comeback I've ever seen in this game. So I guess we will mark it off here. And I got to think how we're going to use the players. Everyone's eligible again. 
so we're going to go back to, oh god, how can we do this? I guess we just go back to, they're going to be tired, but everyone's eligible. So everyone, you know, whatever their normal, if it was seven receptions, they can get seven receptions, and so on and so forth. I should probably take it down a cup. No, nope, that's the way we're going to do it. I'm not going to think it out too much. There we go. All right, so now we will roll this. The green die will be Seattle, and that's a zero. They ain't getting the freaking ball. And that's a four. Dallas will take the ball in overtime. So Seattle will kick off to Dallas. If Dallas scores a touchdown, they have one of the most improbable comebacks in football history. Bye, Beatles. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. We have seen an epic game here. I know no one cares, but it's been fun. So here's the kickoff by Seattle. We are in overtime. Unbelievable. All players are eligible once again. All right, so Dallas scored 14 points in the fourth quarter. And after four quarters of football, it is 17-17 as we go to OT. What a conclusion to the first two wild card games it will be. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's the kickoff. Back deep is Darius Jackson. The kickoff is a 1-5. A 1-5 from the 35. 1-5 is a 50-yarder. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 at the 15. Darius Jackson looking for the 66. He gets a 23 instead. And a 23 is a 24-yard return. 10, 20, 4. Out to the 39-yard line goes Darius Jackson. So the Cowboys. Touchdown wins it. Touchdown wins it. Momentum on the Cowboys side right now, you would say. They scored 14 points in unbelievable fashion. And you know what we're doing here, folks. Momentum Mojo is on the Cowboys' side. They're going deep to Amari Cooper. The left end, so that is a 20. And I have to actually get the sheet back this way. Make sure you guys can see everything again. Yes, you can. So they're going deep to Amari Cooper. Actually, you know what? We're going to go deep to Michael Gallup. He's good for two receptions in overtime. What the hell? And he's an eight. So we're going to go deep to the other, uh, to the flanker. Michael Gallup. Going deep. They're looking for it all. Oh, my Lord. 1-2 goes to a 1-3. Oh, my God, that's disaster. And a 1-3 on a base defense B. And Prescott just avoids the sack and throws the ball away. Oof. So it'll be second and ten. Second and ten. Inside run. Actually, yeah, inside run, Ezekiel Elliott, and that, oh, the Seattle defense has stiffened. That's a 1-2, black dies blank, that is a 9, that is a 9, and they have that covered, I think. 6, 7, 8, 9, no, they're looking for a short pass to the tight end, so they're playing a short zone there. So an instant, but still a crappy roll, 1-2 goes to a 1-3-H, minus a yard, and it'll be third. Third and 11. So Seattle hoping to hold them and get this ball back. We're in overtime. Third and 11. 
medium pass, Amari Cooper. And so that is a Amari Cooper 16. That's an 8. Can Amari Cooper do it again? Yes, he can! 66! They don't need to go up. You can't get a better roll than that. So that is against a base defense, 21 yards. So that's 11 right here. So out into Seattle territory at the 41. Amari Cooper does it again. The defensive backs and Pete Carroll going to have nightmares, nightmares. Of Armani Cooper. Plus 21. First and 10 from the 41 of Seattle. They need to hold them to at least a field goal to get a chance. Dallas doesn't want them to have a chance. You're right. Usually this game will play under because I play with a sped-up clock. You're right. That's a good point, uh, Jake. Now if you bet the under, you're pissed off right now. You wanted the game to end. <laughs> All right. So first and ten. And now they're going to go medium pass to Gallup. And hope he gallops into the end zone. Now he's a flanker. And that is a 17 offensive play call. 8 rating against a 7 defense. Can the Cowboys win it here with a touchdown? This ball game's over, folks. That's a 66. I have, Wow, the Cowboys are hot. I don't know why I'm excited. I hate the freaking Cowboys. And that's a 6. That might be the only saving grace. They were playing the receivers in coverage. So, But it doesn't matter. They have the right play call, but it's a 66. And that's 21 yards and a first down. So that's 10. 20 to the 20. And just like that, two passes, and the Cowboys are in point blank range in the red zone to win this thing, folks. As Gallup, and he's done. He can have two more catches. Not that it matters. He picks up 21. Zach Prescott is hot now. Back to back 21 yard passes. Cowboy Jerry Jones can't believe it. Cowboy fans can't believe it. First and 10 from the 20. Hand off to Ezekiel Elliott. And that's a 26. It'll go up. It's normally a penalty, but it'll go to a 3-3. Three, three. The black die is blank. We roll for coverage. And that is a 1. That's a base defense. So a 3-3. Three, three, four yards. To the 16. It'll be second and 6. Four yards for Ezekiel Elliott. He has two touchdown runs. He plunged in from two yards out as the clock expired in the fourth quarter. Extra point good. That's why we stand here in overtime in one of the most unbelievable comebacks in football history. If the Cowboys can do it, a touchdown wins it all. Second and six. Inside handoff, Ezekiel Elliott. And this time that's a 1-2. X base defense goes to a 1-3. And that's a yard loss. So they push Elliott back. They need to hold Dallas to a field goal here. It's minus one. And it'll be third and seven. So third and seven. Third and seven. Remember, if you roll a six six or a double one, it cannot be adjusted. It can be adjusted down to a double one or up to a six six, but if you hit them both, and a double one is usually a fumble or a pickoff. Short pass. What's it? What did I say it is? Third and seven. 
Short pass as we're going to bring Alan Hearns back in the game. He's good for one reception. That's an eight offensive play, 13 play call against a seven defense. He'll go up one short pass. Left end, Alan Hearns. 35 base defense goes to a 36. 35 base defense goes to a 36. Six yards. That one-yard loss was a killer. It is fourth and one. The Cowboys will go for it. No, they won't. They will kick the field goal. Wow. So Seattle holds them one yard short. I'm almost tempted. I'm almost tempted. But then a field goal would win it for Seattle. I can't do that. I can't. Or can I? Or can I? I can do whatever I want. Plus six. Huh. His other reception was plus six, two on a short pass. That's pretty funny. Well, that was an OT. Fourth. And you got to kick the field goal. I can't fool around. I can't. I want. I want to go for it. As Clark is having a conniption in the chat, good lord, who's covering Cooper? I gotta kick the field goal. You gotta kick the field goal. Alright, so it will be, they have the ball on the 11. It's a 28-yard field goal, because you add 17. And Marr... For a 28-yard field goal is 100%. He's 10 for 10. 20, uh, zero, uh, again, 20 through 29, he was 10 for 10. That's 1 through 99, only a double zero, a block. And it's a 49. He bangs it through. The Cowboys take the lead, and now they need to hold Seattle. Seattle needs a field goal, and then it's sudden death or a touchdown. They win it. So, unbelievable. Barr makes... The 28-yard field goal in overtime. And the Cowboys have a 20. No, um, hold on a second. Yeah, a 20 to 17 lead. And that is two ticks off the clock. Unbelievable game. Unbelievable. So the Cowboys have scored 17 consecutive points. They will now kick off from the 35, as I have all kinds of gook on my hands from these markers. And Lockett is back. Here's the kickoff by Mahar, and that's a 22 on the kickoff. 54 yards, 10, 20. 30, 40, 50 to the 11. And here's the return by Lockett. That's a 15. It's a 20 yard return. So 10, 20, back it up to the 29. That's where Seattle starts. They need a field goal to keep playing. Then if they get a field goal, it will go to sudden death. Touchdown wins it. They have to score. They have to score. Again, all players eligible. So that means Mr. Lockett, who has tormented the Cowboys, is back in the ball game. And you know what we're doing with Mr. Lockett? He's good for six receptions. Medium pass. That's a 17 to Lockett. And that's a 56. Goes to 66. I almost went over the top deep, too. Now we roll for coverage. That's a three. It's a blitz. He just burned the blitz. It's a long gainer. It is a long gainer, folks. It is This ball game could be all over with one pitch and catch. And, oh, my Lord, Taylor Lockett has done it again. That is a long gainer on the medium pass. They burn the blitz. And now we roll to see how many yards. The higher the roll, the better. That's a 33 on the long gainer. 33, 44 yards. We're going to make it 43 yards because we'll move it up to the 30. So it's still 44 yards. You're just going to count it. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, down to the Cowboy 27. So a 44-yard toss from Russell Wilson to that dangerous man. 
Tyler Lockett, who has just been freaking incredible. And Jerry Jones' jubilation has just sunk a bit as the Cowboys have to hold him to a field goal. But there's no answer for Tyler Lockett. He's unstoppable. He's Tyler Lockett. He's like Davy Crockett, except not at the Alamo. And they're hoping it's the Alamo for him there. All right. And again, medium pass. Tyler Lockett. That's a 14. It'll go up three. We've base coverage. Medium pass, 14B incomplete. So it's second and ten. Nine minutes of playing overtime. Again, it doesn't matter. They play till someone wins. Cowboys up 20 to 17. This is in Janikowski field goal range already. Second and ten. They're gonna go inside handoff to Chris Carson. And oh boy, one, two. That's not good. We roll for the defense as the black die was blank. And they were looking for a short pass, but the 1-2 will go to a 1-3-H. 1-3-H minus a yard, and it will be third and 11. Could that one yard make a difference for Sebastian Janikowski? They must get the field goal. They must get the field goal to continue play. Big moment here. Third and 11. Medium pass to Tyler Lockett. Oh, boy, one, two. It will go up enough, but it's going to be incomplete. Base def. Well, we got to see what the defense is going to be. It's a zero, so it's going to be a base. No matter what, a zero is a base defense. So a one, three. Lockett is a flanker, so now they've clamped down on Lockett. So that's a 10 against the seven. And it's a B. One, three, one, yeah, incomplete. So it's fourth down. Here comes Sebastian Janikowski. So after the big play, the Cowboys defense holds. This ball is on the 28. So you have to add 17. 45-yard field goal attempt. If he makes it, it's sudden death, folks. It's sudden death. He will tie it at 20, and the next score wins. Big moment here. Sebastian Janikowski. What did I say it was? 45 yards. And I'll show you. I'm sure you can see it. No, you can't see it yet. Okay. So Sebastian Janikowski. How the hell can you not see that yet? Oh, yeah, you can, you can, you can. Sebastian Janikowski, let's click it one more time. 45 yards. Oh, that's, uh, that's Mahar, looking at the wrong one. Sorry, sorry. Sebastian Janikowski, 1 through 88. He was 8 of 9 between 40 and 49 yards. Uh, the stats from footballreference.com. He needs a 1 through 88. And we go to sudden, sudden death. Double zeros a block, 89 or higher, he misses. Here it goes. You've got to be kidding me. He misses. The Cowboys win. It's an 89. Holy crap. The Cowboys are going nuts on the sideline. Sebastian Janikowski just shakes his head in disbelief. He misses the 45-yard field goal attempt. He needed a 1 through 88. We read the green die first. It's an 89. It's an 89. Unbelievable. The Cowboys survive Seattle in one of the most unbelievable wild finishes you will ever see in a football game. Sebastian Janikowski misses the 45-yard field goal. And Jerry Jones is besides, I think he's orgasmic up in the owner's booth can you say orgasmic because that's what he is wow missed 45 yard field goal in ot to tie and that's it folks 
the Cowboys in overtime. They scored 17 unanswered points, 14 in the fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter. Let's just relive that for a moment. I know you don't, but it was incredible. You have to give them credit. The Cowboys win 20 to 17 in overtime. The winning kick by Brent Mahar, 28 yards. Unfreaking believable. The Cowboys scored 14 points in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Well, they had that other drive. 6 minutes. So in 6 minutes, in just under 6 minutes, they scored 14 points. They recovered an onside kick. And then with no time left on the, well, on the one play, Elliott goes in from two yards out, extra point good. They take the opening drive in overtime, and they get a 28-yard field goal. The big play for the Cowboys was 21 yards to Amari Cooper, and then another 21 yards to Michael Gallup. And then the 28-yard field goal by Brett Mahar. Seattle came right back, that long gainer, and they only got, I mean, it's still a lot of yards. When he, when uh, Russell Wilson, who had quite a game, I mean, Ter uh, Tyler Lockett was incredible. 44 yards, when he connected up for 44 yards, but then Dallas defense stiffened at the 27, and they would give up no more. Janikowski shanked his 45-yard field goal attempt to the left, and Dallas advances to the divisional round. Unfreaking believable. Clark in the chat says, Pete Carroll once again grabs defeat from the jaws of victory. Todd B., oh my God, what a game. Jake Cruz says, this, it, is this the first time Seattle got the ball back since? Yes. Dallas scored three consecutive times. We recovered the onside kick. Good point, Jake. Jake says, great game. It was fun. Unfortunately, it went long, but you know what? It was a fun game. All right, so you guys watched. Um, so this game, Dallas wins 20-17. to 17. Okay, let's remember that when we watch the real games and see how. I'm not going to go through the stats because, I, again, the stats are going to be skewed. I speed up this game. These stats might be close, but I'll tell you this. Uh, Houston won yesterday. I don't think anyone's going back to watch that game. It was a long one. I actually played this one quicker. It's just it went to overtime. Houston had, uh, the Houston Colts game. Uh, the Texans won 14 to nine. Um, and where is it? I did. Luck was awful. I mean, he has completion percentage. I think was 30. He was awful. Again, that's the dice roll. I'm not. You know, I'm calling it for both. It's just the way the dice rolls. But what was interesting was. Deshaun Watson, uh, who completes, I want to say his completion percentage is about 57% or something like that. He basically completed his percentage. So that was really interesting to me. I think that was. Anyway, so on Saturday, off of our predictions here, off playing the game, having fun and playing the game, the Texans won 14-9 over the Colts to advance to the divisional round. And as we just witnessed in one of the funnest games I've ever played. And again, if you're playing against someone, you know, they're going to call the defense. But this is the best way I came up with it. And I think it was a lot of fun. Um, the Cowboys, in an unbelievable fashion, score 17 unanswered points at the end. And they win in overtime 20-17 to in a shocker over Seattle. Now, I had fourth and one. Fourth and one. And I want to say it was in the first quarter. Yeah, it was in the first quarter, fourth and one, pretty much in chip shot field goal range. I went for it for Seattle because inside run for Chris Carson's an eight. So the dice roll is going to go up one, and we just got a bad roll. So, But that comes back to haunt Seattle. And also Dallas, I mean, that was uh, you, their kicker. Very interesting. Dallas's kicker, as I'll get to the right page, Mahar made a... 
39-yard field goal. Then he missed a 49-yard field goal. He's two for two for extra points. And then he made the game winner. It turned out to be the game winner in overtime, 28-yard field goal. Lots of fun. Let's go to the chat quickly and say thank you. As, uh, what a game. Thank you to Clark. Thank you to Jake Cruz, Todd B, Bleacher Bums Gaming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, check out that wonderful channel with Anthony Bleacher Bums Gaming. Lots of great sports. He's developing a boxing game, which is outstanding, Glory Days Boxing. And I can't wait to get that game. He's given me a demo of it. Quite, quite, quite kind of him. We'll be putting some more boxing up on the channel soon. I just have this little project that popped in my head with this, and I want to do this. But we will be putting boxing up on the channel soon. That boxing and also my heavyweight boxing tournament. Uh, but he has Glory Days Boxing, and he's developing Glory Days Baseball, which is a lot of fun. Check that channel out. Uh, we had Beatles Eternally, All Things Baseball, another great friend of the channel, content creator. We had Ron Juckett earlier on, another great content creator. We have Dave Gardner, HockeyTournaments.com. The original Grognard, Tribes fan, all content creators. Stratomatic Delaware. He just put up a video on his channel. U.S. Patriot 4163 OG's friend. Military strategy. Great stuff. We had a fun crowd. I don't read the chat as much when I play this game. I apologize for that. But we'll have, we had T-Dub from What's Blazing in Sports. All your boxing needs. John Sebastian. John St. Batiste. Excuse me. Musical channel. Wonderful. Bobby Cantaloni. A great friend of the community in the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I and we had fan addicts of film, all things entertainment. So this was a great game. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Watch out for that big hit over the middle. Clark says, great game, Al. Have a good night off. Thank you. So watch out for that big hit over the middle. Health and happiness. Happy New Year. May it be a great one to infinity and beyond for everyone. Um. Until next time, God bless. You know it's coming, folks. You know it's coming. Peace. See ya. God bless.